We continue our spring sport previews with Cocalico girls lacrosse. Occasionally, there are changes as far as section realignments go. Some teams moving up, some teams moving down. And one such change is affecting the Eagles this season. The ladies practicing inside earlier this week because of all the rain. They are moving up to section one, while Cedar Crest drops to section two. Teams like Penn Manor, Hempfield, and of course, powerhouse Mannheim Township inhabit Section 1. So the game should be extremely exciting, and the Lady Eagles want to prove they belong. Being the first year, we want to make our mark. We don't want to go in there and look like we're a Section 2 team that's just moving up. So definitely there's a big pull for us to pull our weight in Section 1. There'll be good games to come out and watch and good games for us. I definitely like that we're going to have better competition this year because other years I felt like we were kind of breezing through all the other Section 2 games and this will give us more of a challenge and something to look forward to. We wanted to move up. I think it's going to be good to help us prepare for the postseason, but there is going to be some pressure because we're going to have a lot of tougher competition, so it's going to be a little bit different for us, but it'll be good. It's going to give them a lot of experience. Last year, the team lost the township in the district final and won a game in the state tournament before bowing out, losing two goal-scoring seniors from that team in Avery and Kerry Longstaff, but there's still plenty of offense left on the squad. I think we're just like a very strong offensive team this year. Like, we have some holes to fill defensively, but offensively, we're, we're coming back just as strong as I think we were last year, even though we did lose the Twins. Yeah, we're kind of looking for those last couple defensive spots right now, but we have a strong midfield, so I think that'll help, and we'll have those girls back, so it shouldn't be that bad. Our offense is basically there, but we're looking at some different lineups and matchups in the uh, in our back line, the defense, so we're working on some things and hopefully uh, figure it all out. Cucalico opens up the season on Friday, March 22nd, hosting Cumberland Valley High School.